What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to our channel, my name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we've come back out into the Peak District to our favorite van life park up, Beely Moor. So it's been uh, quite a while since you've seen Big Merlin on this channel. In fact, it was way back in spring that we were here at Beely Moor talking to you guys about this van. This was our new van. We replaced Old Merlin with Big Merlin. Uh, but since then, a few of you guys have started to ask in the comment sections on YouTube, on our social media, where's the van when are you guys posting an update? So today, we're just doing a quick video to let you guys know what's going off with the van. Right, so the last update of the van was when we installed the Maxair skylight and since then we've had a little bit of a halt. And by a little halt up, um, she really does mean quite a large one and really a very expensive one as well. Um, for those of you guys who've been around on the channel for a while, you will remember our old van, old Merlin or little Merlin as we used to call him. That was a petrol van. Now, big Merlin over here is a diesel van. It's the first diesel one we've ever owned and with a diesel, engine comes its own set of unique problems and unfortunately we've been very much hit by a big one. And so for the past several months a lot of our time money and effort has gone into spending money on the van where we didn't really want to be spending it which is under the hood so without boring you um, about too many of the details uh, because big merlin is a diesel he comes with his own problems um, and he's got some issues with uh, basically the emission system and his exhaust and so far we've spent the best part of 800 pounds slowly replacing bits underneath the van trying to find the problem and we've just not found it yet um, we're getting close we really did not want to spend that much money on that end of the van um, but hopefully very soon we will finally get him fixed up Right, so enough about the problems. We've come out to Beely Moor to show you guys the improvements that we've done to the van. And here is number one. So the bunk windows we bought from Van Pimps and I can't remember how much they were. Can you remember? Yeah, so Van Pimps are a UK based company and I think each window costs about £99. We've got the ones that do open. I believe you can get ones that don't open. They are a little bit cheaper. Now the reason that we've gone with these bunk windows is uh, because they're going to sit either side of our bed when we finally get that installed. So I'm looking forward to being up in Scotland and just looking out the window and seeing mountains out the side of my bed. And it'll create a nice airflow throughout the van. So with the skylight above and the bunk windows open, it'll keep a nice cool breeze throughout the van. Yeah. <laughs> now, neither of us have ever installed windows on anything. Um, but we did do these ourselves. I've got some footage, I'll stick some footage in now. Um, but we basically had to do the nerve racking uh, procedure of cutting holes in the side of the van um, and then obviously we installed the windows. Now the kits came from Van Pimps um, and you get a couple uh, sort of nozzles of sort of like the glue and the sealant that you stick on uh, and then it, ba it basically just sticks to the side of the van. Um, and I think we've been incredibly lucky because not only are they still on the van but they're also watertight. So. We've done a good job of them. So I'm going to talk about improvement number two. Another little tiny slice of work that we have managed to do on this van. And we've done it fairly recently as well. If you follow us on Instagram, you might have seen the odd story of this. If you're not following us on Instagram, by the way, it's down there in the corner. We put it in every video. Go follow us on Instagram. So behind us um, on the floor is the only other little bit of work that we've managed to get done i think we've both sort of underestimated just how busy we are with our lives and filming and vlogging and if you don't know we both have nine to five jobs as well 
Um, so the time that we've actually had on the van has been quite slim, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been very minimal. So it's been nice to actually uh, do a little bit to it. Yeah, you've nicknamed it the snail build. Yeah, it's you? now the snail build. So. It's going to take a while, guys. It's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, so behind us is the subfloor. We've managed to get um, the wooden subfloor just about down. Uh, within the gaps in the wood as well, we're going to uh, put... Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's like insulation, Kingspan, Kingspan. insulation. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the foam board stuff. That's the best stuff for the job, we think. Uh, that should keep the floor nice and warm. And then we're also going to put a floor on top of that as well. Aren't yeah. We? And throughout the whole van, we're hoping to uh, Kingspan it uh, to keep most of the warmth in, and then maybe fill in with some uh, softer insulation in the crevices. So things are going to get toasty. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to appreciate that sunset? Absolutely amazing. Um, we actually, we wanted to get out, didn't we? And film yeah. the Peak District uh, because it's currently purple. Um, I did get out a little while ago and I took some pictures up at a place called uh, Owl Tour and Surprise View. We might show you that one day. I might put a bit of footage in now actually, but um, the Peak District at the moment is currently bright purple. So coming up next with the van build, um, we're going to start fleshing out the walls as well. So we're going to start putting the wooden struts up. Uh, we're going to get the insulation into the walls as well. And then we're getting on to pre-wiring, which um, is probably the stage that I'm least looking forward to and the stage that I least understand. Um, but we're going to put the wiring in and then we're going to seal it all off, aren't we? Yeah. Um, with the insulation and the tape and a vapor barrier as well. Um, but then, that's when it's going to start getting interesting and we might start posting a few more videos on the van because we're going to start kitting it out. We've picked a shower yeah, tray We've got out. a shower tray. It's um, an acrylic one, so it's quite lightweight. Uh, it's but pretty it looks tough like though, a, isn't it? It looks like a regular shower tray, which is what we wanted, not a caravan one. So <laughs> hopefully it will stand the test of time. So the sun is very much setting now over Beely Moor. Looks pretty nice. Um, but with, this was just sort of going to be a short and sweet vlog. We just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that sort of the van hasn't exploded or anything. Yeah, and we're going to try and keep the momentum up with it. And hopefully by the time you see our next van update video, we might have made some more improvements. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't take us sort of like five months to put a floor down or something. Um, hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll start to put more time, money and effort into the back of the van and it will really start to look like a camper van. Hashtag snail build. Hashtag snail build. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you are excited, finally, for more van life videos on the channel, hit that subscribe button just down there because that way it's going to guarantee that you see us in the next one. Bye. Peace. <laughs>